Before we dive in, let's get one thing straight. This isn't a guide for hackers. If you're here looking for step-by-step -step instructions on how to break into someone's phone, you're in the wrong place. This video is not about teaching you how to hack, but about helping you understand the risks so you can stay safe. Have you ever paused to wonder what really happens when you make a phone call? It might seem like magic, but there's a fascinating process happening behind the scenes every time you press that call button. When you speak into your phone, your voice is instantly captured by the microphone and transformed into a stream of digital information, tiny packets of data that represent every word and sound you make. Your phone's technology converts your voice into a digital code, breaking it down into numbers that can be easily transmitted. This digital code is then sent out as invisible radio waves, traveling through the air to the nearest cell tower, which acts as a gateway to the wider world. The cell tower is like a high-tech post office, picking up your message and forwarding it through a complex web of towers, cables, and servers that make up the global phone network until it finally reaches the tower closest to your friend or family member. At the other end, their phone receives the signal, decodes the digital information, and instantly turns it back into the sound of your voice, as if you were right there beside them. All of this happens in the blink of an eye, so fast that we never notice the journey our words take. In fact, this process repeats itself billions of times every single day, connecting people across cities, countries, and continents. The entire system is built on trust. Trust in your phone, the cell towers, the network providers, and the technology that links them all together. But with so many steps in the chain, every single one is a potential weak link where things could go wrong or be intercepted. Hackers and cybercriminals are always on the lookout for vulnerabilities, seeing opportunities to exploit the very connections we rely on for seamless communication. By understanding how this invisible chain works, we can better spot where security might break down and how to protect ourselves. Next, let's dive deeper and see exactly how attackers can exploit these links and what you can do to stay safe. Meet the IMSI Catcher, a sophisticated device that acts as a fake cell tower, allowing hackers to secretly intercept your calls and messages. Originally developed for intelligence agencies, this technology has now found its way into the hands of cybercriminals and even stalkers, making it a growing threat in our increasingly connected world. Your phone is constantly searching for the strongest and most reliable signal, always trying to keep you connected. When an IMSI catcher is nearby, your device can't tell the difference between a real cell tower and the fake one set up by the hacker. It automatically connects to the strongest signal, which is often the attacker's device, without you ever realizing it. To you, everything seems perfectly normal. Your calls go through, your texts are delivered, and your apps work just as they always do. There are no obvious signs that anything is wrong, so you continue using your phone as usual, completely unaware that your privacy is being compromised. But behind the scenes, every bit of your communication, calls, texts, and even some app data, is now passing through the hacker's device first. This gives the attacker full access to your private conversations and sensitive information, all without your knowledge. This is what's known as a classic man-in-the-middle attack. The hacker positions themselves between you and the real cell tower, secretly relaying and potentially altering your communications. With this access, hackers can record your phone calls, save your text messages, and even listen in on your private conversations in real time. Sensitive information like passwords, personal details, or business secrets can all be captured. They can also force your phone to downgrade to an older, less secure network like 2G or 3G. These outdated networks lack modern encryption, making it much easier for attackers to eavesdrop and steal your data. IMSI catchers were once exclusive to government agencies and law enforcement, but now, thanks to the availability of cheap hardware and online tutorials, they're accessible to criminals, private investigators, and even stalkers. This shift has made the threat much more widespread and personal. The attack works because your phone inherently trusts the cellular network. It assumes that any tower it connects to is legitimate, never suspecting that it could be a trap set by a hacker. Ironically, the very feature designed to keep you connected, automatically seeking the best signal, becomes a vulnerability that attackers can exploit. Convenience, in this case, opens the door to serious security risks. 
It's a powerful reminder that the conveniences we rely on every day often come at the cost of our privacy and security. Being aware of these risks is the first step toward protecting yourself. Stay alert for sudden drops in network quality, unexpected loss of signal, or your phone switching to an older network without explanation. These can be subtle signs that something suspicious is happening. If you notice unusual changes in your phone's service, like frequent disconnections or your device displaying no service in areas where you usually have coverage, it could be a sign that an IMS eye catcher is nearby. Stay vigilant, and let's move on to the next threat you should know about. Malware, malicious software, can turn your phone into a spy. It sneaks in through suspicious links, shady apps, or compromised Wi-Fi. Once inside, spyware can record calls, read texts, track your location, and steal passwords. It runs silently, often without any sign it's there. The process is simple. Malware records your calls, saves the audio, and uploads it to the hacker. Tools like Pegasus can do this without you even clicking a link. While you might not be a government target, everyday spyware is everywhere. One careless click is all it takes. Always be cautious with links and downloads. Let's see how hackers trick you into installing malware. Phishing is about tricking you, not your phone. Hackers send fake messages pretending to be your bank or phone company, urging you to click a link or enter your details. One click can install spyware or give away your account credentials. With your login, hackers can set up call forwarding, secretly routing your calls through their number. You won't notice a thing, but your privacy is gone. It's a simple trick, but devastatingly effective. Phishing preys on trust and urgency. Don't fall for it. Always verify messages through official channels. One moment of misplaced trust can open the door to hackers. Next, let's see how these attacks play out in real life. Phone hacking isn't just theory. It's happened with real consequences. The News of the World scandal saw journalists hack voicemails using default pins, exposing private lives and causing public outrage. IMSI catchers have been used by criminals and law enforcement to intercept calls and texts, especially during protests. Criminals have stolen bank codes and drained accounts using these tools. Spyware is used in domestic abuse and corporate espionage, violating privacy and trust. Hacking isn't just about spies. It's about real people losing security and peace of mind. Let's talk about the human factor in all this. Technology isn't always the weak link. We are. Hackers exploit our habits, weak passwords, unsecured Wi-Fi, careless downloads, and impulsive clicks. Emotional triggers, fear, urgency, excitement, make us act without thinking. Most people think, it won't happen to me, but hackers target everyone. Automated attacks cast a wide net. Even a tiny success rate means thousands of victims. Carelessness is a hacker's best friend. Treat your phone like your home. Don't leave digital windows open. Vigilance and skepticism are your best defenses. Let's see how you can build better habits. Here's how to protect yourself. Good news, you can protect yourself with a few simple steps. Be skeptical of unsolicited messages. Don't click suspicious links. Only download apps from official stores and check permissions before installing. Regularly delete unused apps to reduce risk. Keep your phone and apps updated. Security patches matter. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Lock your phone with a passcode or biometrics. Avoid sensitive tasks on public Wi-Fi. Use a VPN if you must. These habits create layers of defense, making you a harder target. You don't need to be a tech expert, just consistent. Share these tips with friends and family. Security is a team effort. Now, let's wrap up. Your data tells your life story. Protect it. Privacy isn't about hiding, it's about control. When hackers invade, they steal more than data. They steal your peace of mind. Protecting your privacy is self-respect. Stay informed, follow security news and keep learning. Encourage others to build good habits. A secure community helps everyone. You are the gatekeeper of your digital life. Be vigilant, proactive, and value your privacy. Don't give it away cheaply. Make security a habit, not a one-time fix. If you found this helpful, subscribe for more tips. Stay safe and keep your conversations private. Your privacy is your superpower. Use it.